Hi everybody, uh, Roz here from New Old Finds. And um, when you hop on, let me know you're here and say hi and tell me where you're from. Hopefully I'll be able to catch it in the comments. Um, so today we are working on the infamous bread box that I was uh, working on last week. And if you happen to catch that live, um, I ran into a couple problems. So, um, if you didn't catch the live from last Monday, then, um, you definitely should watch it because it's a little comical. Uh, hi, Anne. All right. So today we're going to continue working on it. Um, I did add a little more, uh, transfers to it and I'll show you that in a sec. And then, uh, hi, Nikki. And then we're going to also add, um, decoupage paper and maybe stamps. I haven't quite decided yet. I am not really proficient with the stamps yet. So it's kind of a bit of a learning curve for me. But uh, let me point you guys down and I'll show you what we're going to work with. Hold on. Let me see. Hopefully I can get it far enough down. All right. Okay, so this is the bread box that I had worked on last week, and um, I had put uh, the chicken transfer on, and then went to put on the sunflower transfer, and it was a hot mess. It uh, did not want to transfer, there was a whole bunch of problems with it, so I just ripped it off and added the uh, ruby rose instead of in, in place of it. Um, so what I've also done so far now is added the, the handle to open it. And then I finished this side and this side. And then also I've painted the back. And then this is what we're gonna, part of what we're gonna work on today. The back, and then inside, I have painted the bottom part here white. Hey, Roz. I mean, hey, Dustin. I read hey, Roz. I just said it out loud. It's one of those days. Okay, so anyway. <laughs> I cracked myself up, I swear. So I painted this white. <laughs> because that's where we're gonna put part of our paper. Okay, and I left the inside natural. I kind of like it natural. Uh, I thought it kind of vibed with the colors that we have and the um, the kind of, I don't know, farm farmhousey, whatever. Yeah, laugh at me, it's okay. It's all right, I can laugh at myself. All right, so for the inside, I'm thinking this paper. I thought this was really cute for it. This is called Grid. Um, but don't you think that'll be cute here on, on the, the lid top, whatever you want to call it. I think that'll work cute there. So then I'm thinking, crap, sorry, princess. Then I'm thinking, um, for the back, I can do two, one of two things. So the back has this kind of, um, like a, uh, like a wine color. Um, so I was thinking I could add this paper, which is called Flower Market, um, but I'm not 100% sure. I, I don't, I, I, I haven't quite decided if I think it clashes or if it looks good. Let me pull it out. And no, I don't have any of the new containers for the papers I wish I did. I uh, still have those ones. So this is it. It's a little pink though, right? But I mean, it's the back, so I, I don't know. Um, but then I thought, well, what if I do, um, if I did the paper, I could also add um, stamps on the back with the paper. 
And then I thought, well, why don't I just stamp like this? So this is where I am. I haven't decided if I'm going to uh, decoupage this or just straight up stamp it. So we'll get to that. You tell me if you think that this is too pink um, for the box or not. If you think it's too pink, let me know. This is kind of, I think the section I was going to use was this here. So the colors are a little more uh, uh, muted. So I haven't quite decided. But yeah, you guys, you let me know. So it's part of the transfer is, or part of the paper is not as pink. Like this side here has more, this side here, has more of those muted colors on it. You think the paper's too pink? Yeah. Okay, that's cool. I'm good with that. Oh, okay. So let me get this paper out of the way and then we will do the paper on the inside because I'm definitely doing that. Hi, Maria. Okay, so let's move this out of the way. Paper, paper, go there. Okay. You don't care for the pink? Thank you, Sandy. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't sure. I don't have very many of the um, papers left that were going to um, go with it. So I, that was kind of what I had left. But, all right, so let's do the inside of this. If I move, ooh, I can't go too far. And for some reason, I can't bend y'all down any further. My thingy's not letting me. So, what if I go... That way. Or if I just turn you all this way. If that's a better view, I guess, eh? It's gonna be hard for me, but... Alright, that'll work. Okay. So again, I gotta do this here. And I mean, the easier way to get these out is just to spin it. Spin, spin, spin. And then it comes out. And they don't rip. They're like extremely hard to, to ruin in any way, shape, or form. So, and I don't need two. I only need one. Let's put that over there. All right. I think that'll look cute there. Just a little something, something when you open it up. All right, I am going to have to stand up because I cannot be backwards and see this. <laughs> All right, so I need to measure so I know where to cut. And it looks like I need to go to just after that line there and the only reason I'm going to cut this ahead of time here is because um, it's got to fit into the the crevice of the the box there otherwise um, I would just go with um, sanding it off instead all right so just past Correct. Hopefully that's the right spot. Okay. So you can use a, a multitude of products to glue this paper on. Um, I've successfully used Mod Podge, Clear Coat, Polycrylic, um, uh, the gel. Hi, Patricia. And a couple other, I think I used gesso at one point too. Um, so far, whoops, I didn't bring it over my table. That was silly. So far the, um, the Dixie Belle clear coat is what I've, uh, what I've liked the best so far. 
Polycrylic is, is pretty much the exact same thing, but uh, I don't have it handy in here, so. Okay, so let's double check that we got this measured. And it's, it's hanging over, and I'll show you guys how to get rid of that after. So that looks pretty perfect. Cool. I mean, this is such an easy, easy, easy thing to do, and it really elevates your piece that extra bit more. And it's such a minimal investment for a big bang, wow, cool, that looks so awesome, other, other than just blah, boring white, right? All right, so we're going to take a brush and you want to kind of apply it pretty liberally. Um, you don't want globs, obviously, but you do want it to be definitely saturated so that it gets into the paper fibers. And as you know, or have probably seen from myself and other brand ambassadors, um, you know, how thick this paper really is and the consistency of what it is. Um, it's very similar to like a dryer sheet, or if you've ever been a sewer or done sewing, it's like, uh, like interfacing. So it's really thick, it's really strong, it doesn't bubble. And it doesn't wrinkle. So I'll show you guys. Oh, I'm brushing on um, the clear coat from Dixie Bell. It's basically just polycrylic. You can use polycrylic or any other top coat that you like like that. So we can see it's, uh, it's really hard. And it's kind of got that, that texture like, uh, like dryer sheets do. do. Okay, so we're just going to plop that on. That's my arm on the side of the red box, guys, I promise. All right. Smooth it out. Nice. Make sure it's all adhered. Okay, and then just apply another generous coat over top. Um, you want to get into all the little grooves and textures of the paper. So it's, it's kind of like what I think of uh, like a waffle. You know how waffles have the little squares? So it's very similar to what the paper is. So, I want to make sure that my sealer is getting into all of those little squares. And that way, I'm ensuring that I'm going to have a nice, crisp, smooth uh, seal on my paper. And I'm going over it a couple times each pass across just to make sure um, that it is soaking into the paper. And it does dry fairly quickly. Um, if you can, and you can always speed it up with a hair dryer, of course, which is what I shall be doing in a minute um, because I do want to show you guys how to get the edge off as well if you're not cutting it. Okay, so I should be, I think, pretty much all the way up there, nice and th thick. And you can see it, it's uh, kind of got that bluish tint to it, you know, when you're doing your sealer.
I love what you did with the transfer on top. Thank you, Patricia. If you watched last week's member, <laughs> pretty sure you did. Yeah, that was fun and exciting, huh? No, not really. It was pretty funny, though. All right. So while that is drying for one second, I'm just going to move my hair out of the way. And then I'm going to hair dryer it. Not my hair, but the the paper really quickly just to dry it out faster uh, so that I can show you how to remove this excess piece on the end here. Let me show you. See, I have this extra piece here. I don't sell the paper, Debbie. I am a brand ambassador, not a retailer, but if you go to uh, the Redesign with Prima page, you can um, you can find the store locator, and that's for online and um, brick and mortar stores. And they're a retailer will will have it for you. Okay, uh, I don't want to be super loud with the hair dryer, um, so. Let's, because I want to be able to close it when I'm doing the back. So let me just plop it down here real quick where my hair dryer is. And hopefully if it's down here, it will be less, less noisy. And while I'm doing this, y'all ask me a question or something. What you guys doing today? Do you see the stamps here on the side? The one, two, three, four, five? Do you see it? Those are the ones that I was thinking about using on the back. Are you guys excited for the stamps? Have you guys used stamps before? Because I haven't. The stamps are fun. <laughs> I don't know, I'm not sold on them yet. Oh, you've never used a stamp? Yeah, the stamps are definitely a learning curve. Nothing fancy. I'm glad you guys are excited for them, though, because um, I know that a lot of people used them before. Yeah, me neither, Sandy. I had never used them either. There are letters, Levon. Okay, it's almost dry. The downfall to putting it on thick is, yes, it takes a hot minute to dry. But, it's super smooth and it's going to be awesome. Um, it's still a little tacky, so I'm going to just let it sit for a minute and I will turn around and hopefully I can do it this way and show you guys the back. Okay, so, uh, let's see. So on the side here, and this is why I was thinking the, the, um, I, I wish I knew where my stamp, my, my letter stamps are. They're in here somewhere. I don't know where they are though. I thought I had them there. So on the side here, it says number 129 and then there's like some text, like some script, right? And then on this side, 
there is whoop, there is some more text and then like number four two seven eight nine one one I'm like, was that somebody's phone number at some point or something? So that's why I thought of the, the numbers. Now, technically I don't even need to do anything to the back because I still think even that's kind of cute. But you know, I can't leave things well enough alone. And if I can do every side, do something fun with something small like this, I'm going to. Um, and I thought, well, if somebody puts this like on their kitchen island or something, they're going to want to see the back look just as cute as the front and the top, right? And inside. Whoop. So. What am I doing? What should I do? <sighs> okay. And I have. Mm -mm. I have a bunch of different ink pads here. So the new ones that are going to be released, there's three, I believe. Three, yeah. So there's white, there's a copper, which uh, Cece showed on her live earlier, and then there's, um, there's black. But I also have different colors. Um, so these are the redesigned stamps inks that are coming out. These are uh, Color Philosophy, which are part of uh, Primo. So this is like a peony. It's like a bright red, which I don't think is going to show up on uh, this color very well. And then there's, obviously, they have a black. And they also have this cool um, color called Adobe Home which again, won't show up on this color, but I'm gonna show you guys anyway. And then they have this cool midnight blue, which would kind of look kind of cool on here, but I think it'll still kind of get washed out. So I think the typical one that we're gonna use is probably just black, which I have another and I dropped it, but that's okay. So we're gonna use this one if it's here, it is. So the cool thing about these, look, is all of these uh, stamps are um, magnetic. So you can stack them and they're not gonna fall over or anything. How pretty cool is that, right? You can line them all up so that you can see what's what. Cool, huh? I thought that was pretty neat. All right, let's see how this guy is doing. Nope, yeah, still a little bit tacky. Still a bit tacky. Okay, that's okay. It'll be dry. So now I need to decide what to do. And I'm not telling you the names of any of these stamps. And I'm not showing you all of them. So this is really just a sneak peek of what is coming. So I do have a script one. So I thought maybe like a script on the side, something like that, and then add a couple numbers. These suckers are stuck in here. And then add like some numbers down here something like that. And if I could find, I might leave a space to put the N-O if I could find my letters. So the letter one has capitals and small letters. So let me think of what was my, what was the number of my house? Oh, it was number four. So that was no fun. I lived on four little road when I grew up. The four little road is no biggie. I don't want to put just one number. So stampy stampy here and then number whatever here. Let's see what number we have over here. Number one, two, nine. So we can just do number one, two, nine. And then the, the stamp here. All right, so 
Whoa! I dropped it. Okay, so we're going to stamp. You ready? Hopefully it works. <laughs> because this is only like my third time ever doing it. Should I do white or black? Oh, now I don't know. White or black for the text? The white was kind of wacky. The white kind of uh, smooshed. Come on, guys, white or black? What do you think? What do you think? White, I see white. White. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. White. Okay. So no black, white. All right. Let's see if it works. So they have when you open, when you pull the lid off, they have like this little plastic cover that goes over top to keep them, I guess, moist or whatever. Um uh, do have a brayer. I don't know where my little one went though. I lost my little brayer. Okay, well, I could always um, just do it this way. So you can use a, uh, oh snap, and you're just, you're messing it up now. Well, I already got the white open now. Okay, so they, um, you can use a brayer or you can just flip your pad upside down and just stamp on it. You just need to keep it straight so that you're not getting um, your edge of the stamp like I just did. This one is really um, uh, wet. So I need to be careful. So I'm just gonna do it over here on the, the table y'all so I don't get it all over the place. I know you can't see here. I want to be able to show you. So hold on. See if I can scoot that over. Okay. There we go. All right. So it's just sitting here flat and, and basically I'm just doing this on top. Um, no, you'll have to get your own brayer. Um, I got mine on Amazon. I can link to it for sure if you need to um, get one. Uh, it was kind of cool. It came with uh, two different sizes. So it has like a big one and then um, the small one. So the small one was like half this size, which is cool. It's good when you're applying, like when you go to apply it on. All right, so I'm just dabbing this on. And I'm making sure that I can see that it's covering everything. Um, now, total transparency with this. Um, hey, oh, thank you for joining me from Argentina. That's really cool. <laughs> All right, so again, total transparency. This is my third time doing stamps. So I am by no means an expert in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> Hopefully I will get better. Um, but for now, yeah, it's kind of like a, hey, this is, uh, I think, how it works. I'm just sort of winging it most of the time with it. But basically just I'm making sure that the whole uh, text is covered. And then we shall... This, uh, so this, um, this particular ink, um, I, I even tried to, uh, put a paper towel on the, the pad to bring it down a bit because it was just so wet, but, uh, it doesn't seem to have really helped much. So I may get ink all over this, so we'll see. Okay, so 
I have my brayer and I am going to use my brayer for this because it is rather a larger sized piece and I'm using the edge of the um, stamp here to line up with the, the line here so that I'm hoping anyway that I'm getting straight. Okay, so now instead of using my fingers, I'm going to, um, I'm just going to use the brayer and hope that that works to make sure that I'm using just, or I'm just getting the letters and I'm not getting all of the extra that I added onto the stamp by accident or not, because really the stamp is just so wet. Thank you. All right, so I've used the brayer and I just run it across and now I'm going to attempt to lift it up. Again, I am by no means an expert in this. So y'all are on this ride with me and let's see if it worked. Okay, ready? Here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> well, it's not awful. It's not awful, and I'll tell you what. Okay, so I guess I pushed a little too hard over here, which is why it looks darker, and it um, it must have by pushing it because these are these are flexible, right? So with them being flexible, um, even the 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 design is flexible so it's designed to spread out a bit right um so what happens and i'll see if i can get it closer so i pushed a little harder on this side but not as much on this side this side came out pretty good actually i'm quite impressed and i did not actually get um let's see i don't know if you can see all the extra can you see all the extra that i got in the bits here like here in between See, I mean, you can see I can smudge it, right? So none of that got actually on there. So I'm quite impressed with myself as far as that. But um, here, I'm going to show you. Sorry, I squeak when I get up. Okay. Woo! So you can see it's just a little bit more. I know it's upside down. I'm sorry. Um, like it has like a shadow because I pushed too hard. So when I pushed too hard, the, the plastic of the, the stamp spread out and that gave me that kind of double extra, uh, little bit there, but that's okay. It still looks pretty cool as far as I'm concerned. Okay. So now, now we need to decide numbers and I think we were going to go with, uh, what we're going to go with one, one, two, nine, number one, two, nine. All right. So since I'm done with my, uh, with my stamp, you can see there's still some ink on there. I don't want to leave that there. So usually what I do is I get a paper towel and I, I just have it damp and then I can, uh, I can wipe it off right away and it's nice and clean again. But for now, what I'm going to do is just spread it out back here and just stamp onto the paper towel. Okay? That way, I know it's getting the excess off, and I'll just leave it over there and clean it after. Okay, so now I'm going to... Let's flip it around. Can I flip it around? I wonder if I can flip it around. Can I... No, because if I flip it around, it won't be, it won't be good. Looks good. You can always sand to distress a tad. Uh, yes, I could. And I may even add, just to kind of fill in little spots here and there, um, I may just add like a little bit of um, transfers too, just because. And I see a hair. <sighs> don't touch it because it takes a little bit to dry. I don't know exactly how long because... 
on the painting that I did, it would it, it did take quite a little bit to dry. But I'll see how long it takes on this one. All right, so now I need to get my one. And so there's my one, my two, and the nine. Ugh. One, two, nine. I have no idea what it means, but that's what we're going with. Okay, so I think I'm going to put them like here. And then when I find the other stamps, I can put N-O here for number. But I think it kind of looks really cool like this, doesn't it? It's kind of got like a little bit of a... Uh, like a, yeah, like an old farmhouse vintage feel to it, right? All right, so we're going to start with the nine and work our way that way. I know it's all upside down for you guys. I'm sorry about that. All right, so again, I'm going to do the same thing and stamp it this way. And try to get as much ink on there. Okay, I think that looks good. All right, and where's my brayer? See, I wish I had my little smaller one. I don't know what I did with it. I put it somewhere. I think I was using it somewhere else. All right, I'm gonna stand up again. It looks cool though, right? I think it looks cool. It's different. Okay, so we're gonna put our nine right there. Oh, snap. I put it crooked. All right, and then just lightly go over with our brayer. We don't want to push hard. And it moved. But that's okay. Look at that. Cute. This ink is the Redesign with Prima ink. Um, good momento. I shall show you the lid. It is a uh, semi-permanent ink. That one. And these will be available on uh, December 4th as well with the release of the stamps and the other things. So December 4th, guys. Okay. So, and I'm not showing you the whole stamp kit because these are awesome. But you do know that one has numbers, but does it have other stuff? Mm -hmm. Yes, indeedy. Okay. Now we're doing the two. <laughs> two. Let's line it up. Two. Plop it there. Once you put it down, you're pretty much committed. And then carefully go over it. Whoop, I dropped it, but that's okay. Look, it still came out good. See, I needed my smaller brayer. This big brayer is not working so good. Okay, and again, I'm just putting my numbers and whatnot over here. Well, my numbers over here on my paper towel. Okay, this is, I mean, you know, I'm totally new to this too, so this is the fun of using a new product and whatnot. Okay, put the one down right there. A smidge crooked okay now I'm just gonna tap it this time see if that helps because it's such a little one I don't want to I don't want the brayer to fling it across okay here we go one two three boop all right that one came out okay it's got that cool vintage vibe to it such a tease ha ah, I know Okay, 
Mm -hmm. Let's see, guys. Turn it around for you. I think that's going to look so cute with... Um, See, I could have got a little darker in the middle of that too, eh? Or I got could have got a little harder on the two, but that's okay. And then over here, I'll do the little N-O. That's going to be so cute. But that's just a nice little touch for the back of the, the bread box, I think. All right. So now, let's cover up our tin here. Bloop. Okay, stack it on top, and then I'm going to turn it so I can show you guys, because this has got to be dry by now. Good grief, it still is a bit tacky. Okay. Well, you have two choices to remove the excess. You can use a uh, super sharp blade. Um... You could use scissors on an angle to get it nice and close to the edge and or, um, where did my sandpaper go? What the fruitcakes? I had it here. There it is. <laughs> or you can sand it off. So because it is um still a little tacky i'm going to show you guys how to cut it with the scissors um normally you would just you know sand it like you would any other decoupage right just to sand off the edge so with this one though i'm just going to take my scissors and you can see that they're they're on an angle and when i cut on the angle it helps me get right up close to the side so that I don't have to go back and sand but I absolutely can if I want to just to clean up the edge if I need to but I think I'm getting really nice and close to the edge here let's see once I'm done Pretty good. Isn't that cute though? That'll just be like a cute little extra. And I'll, I'll paint this lip here blue because that needs to be. All right. So here it is again. This is what we did last week. And I added the, the pull. And then I did the the sides there's one side and here's the other side and then we just did this today adding the cute little paper on the inside when you open it and then on the back we did this today too Cool. Thanks, guys. I appreciate that. So, I mean, something as simple as, you know, a really boring, plain wooden bread box. And look how awesome it is. So many different choices and things that you can do with anything, really. I mean, such a fabulous array of products. I love it. I think it's super cute, and I may just have to keep it myself and replace the one that I have with it because it's so cute. I love it. All right, guys. Well, thanks for hanging out with me, and uh, I will see you guys um, next Monday at 2 p.m. because we're going to do something really awesome. I couldn't do it this week because I had a couple things I had to take care of first before I do it, but next week's going to be really awesome. So make sure you're here. All right. Bye, guys. Thanks for coming.